Oh boy. He's mad. likes bro all right couple of dope nintendo switch news items for this video the first one nintendo is in some hot water objection they are being sued bro the nintendo switch the system that can seemingly do no wrong has done lots of wrong joy con boys where my joy con boys at bro <laughs> stand up joy con boys Hey, I don't have an exclusive see-through Joy-Con like your boy. Look, even changes. All right, that's my green screen. But particularly the left Joy-Con, they're calling it Joy-Con Drift. It means you're running in Link. In, in Zelda, Breath of the Wild, you're using Link. And you see a pack of Begoblins. Bo goblins. Begoblins. Whatever you call them. You realize you're outnumbered and you don't want to go forward, so you let go of the left stick. But Link keeps running, bruh. It's like the Joy Cons are possessed, bro. And so it's an issue of inputs being registered when you're not doing anything. Now, I have three switches, and I, in fact, I've turned in all three of my Joy Cons into Nintendo. They brought them back, still have problems. Um, and not even just the Joy Con drift. But when you, the left Joy-Con is not connected to the Switch, when you push inputs, it doesn't always register and so forth. It's more of an issue with the left Joy-Con than the right, but it seems to be a widespread problem. And there is an official class action lawsuit against Nintendo right now, bro. This could potentially cost the company billions. That's right, not millions billions of dollars if they have to end up replacing every single joy con on every single switch i'm wondering with the new switch revision that's coming out if they're not just fixing the ba extending the battery life possibly there's rumors of a more powerful cpu but what if nintendo is sneaking in joy con um, ish, the Joy-Con issue, they're sneaking in a repair for the Joy-Con issue. I think that needs to be done ASAP. Free ASAP. Still in Sweden. But, Nintendo, it's gotten so bad, Nintendo can't ignore it anymore. Nintendo has come out with an official statement regarding this whole Joy-Con drift issue. This is what Nintendo says. At Nintendo... We take great pride in creating quality products, and we are continuously making improvements to them. A representative from Nintendo told Kotaku about the Joy-Con drift, and this is what they continue to say. <coughs> we are aware of recent reports that some Joy-Con controllers are not responding correctly. Pretty much all the left ones. We want our customers to have fun with Nintendo Switch, and if anything falls short of this goal, we always encourage them to visit support.nintendo.com so we can help. At the same, Nintendo's customer service is great. You call, they try to do their best. Um, a lot of things they were telling me to do, like um, blow below the Joy-Con, clean it out, all this stuff. I was like, lady, I'm, I'm sending y'all this Joy-Con and y'all better fix it. They sent it back and it wasn't fixed. But <laughs> at the same, it's not been too much of an issue for me because I'm a pro con boy too, bro. I primarily game with my pro controllers. I got like four pro controllers. I got this one. I got the OG black one. I got the Xenoblade one. I'm looking at all my boxes. They're all throughout the house. And I got the Splatoon. And I have to say the Splatoon one is probably my favorite design, just a black. But I hear since the Xenoblade ones that they've improved the D-pads low-key, you can feel a slight difference, but not really that much. But we're not talking about D-pads, we're talking about Joy-Cons. So Nintendo has a big problem on their hand 
with this whole Joy-Con drift issue. They just came out with a statement. We'll see how all of this unfolds, what Nintendo's gonna in, in fact do to make customers happy. They might have to, bro, I remember the Red Ring of Death, I had like three Xbox 360s. It cost Xbox and Microsoft tons of money. But they um, were diligent in replacing and repairing consoles. Nintendo might do a Joy-Con trading program just to keep good faith with customers. But either way, it looks like it's going to cost them a lot of money. Everybody better buy a Switch Lite. They better fix this with the Switch Lite. Because there is no replacing of Joy-Cons. It's permanently attached to the system. But to Nintendo's credit, they're the kings of handheld devices. I think it's just because it's detachable and they t t did too much in it. Um, they've taken out a lot of features with the Switch Lite. There's no HD rumble and stuff. So Nintendo has so much experience with handheld consoles. I, I really don't see a problem with the Switch Lite. It's um, the Joy-Cons. All right, next news item. Bro, Super Smash Brothers will be the main event for EVO. I've already reported that Super Smash Brothers Ultimate has become the most registered event ever for EVO. It was over like 3,000 something participants, crazy numbers. But Super Smash Brothers will be closing out EVO this year. It's going to be lit. I'm going to try to live stream um, the EVO um, Super Smash Brothers Championships. It should be lit. And stay tuned, bro. We might get a hero release date um, at the end of EVO. I think they've done it before with the DLC character, even an announcement or announced the release date of a character. So we might stay tuned. Um, Nintendo already dropped that July trailer video hinting that Hero is coming right around the corner um, to end out EVO with uh, the release of um, Hero would be pretty dope. Um, EVO begins August 4th, so the beginning of August. Stay tuned for some Smash news. All right, next news item, bro. Junish Masuda, he has come out and he they did, I guess, uh, uh, a, a survey of 200 people and 100% of them responded that Pokemon is made by Nintendo <laughs> and not Game Freak. <laughs> everybody thinks, um, he's saying that everybody thinks Pokemon is in fact a Nintendo IP when it's really not. It's made by Game Freak. This would be like a second party studio. Um, it's a, it's been a, Pokemon has been exclusive to Nintendo for pretty much every generation, but they're not. Um, Pokemon isn't owned by Nintendo. We could get Pokemon on Xbox, on PlayStation, if they paid Game Freak enough. But Game Freak is so loyal to Nintendo, I don't think that's ever gonna ever gonna happen. But because uh, I remember too. When Pokemon Go started to really blow up, Nintendo's stocks started to climb because everybody thought it was tied to Nintendo. Nintendo had to come out with a statement and say, um, uh, we don't make Pokemon. <laughs> so that's interesting. Now you know. See, a lot of dudes turned into, tuned into this video thinking Pokemon was made by, by Nintendo. But you see, you get smarter when you watch an Obi-Wan Plays video. Thank you. Or rather, you're welcome. All right, next news item. Oninaki, bro. You got to do yourself a favor. Go to the eShop and download the Oninaki demo. I'm telling you to do it, and I haven't even done it yet because I just found out about it. Oninaki is now available. The demo, the demo of the game is now available on the eShop. Go ahead and check this game out. It is made by uh, Square Enix, of course, but I think spe specifically um, Tokyo RPG Factory. I think they're the ones responsible for this. Either way, this company makes great RPGs, bro. 
this game is on my radar it's depending on what games are coming on around this time the big rpg that i really have on my radar dragon quest 11 which i'm going to talk about in a second but oninaki the demo is only 1.4 gigabytes of space and uh, the final game will be only 2.7 gigabytes, bro. And so you definitely got to do yourself a favor. Get this game. It drops August 22nd. I just might pick this up. Because that's way in between <coughs> um, Fire Emblem. I should be done with Fire Emblem by that time. And Dragon Quest XI is going to be my other um, big RPG for the year. So the game drops August 22nd. Keep this game on your radar, bro. Don't sleep on this. It's going to be a great game. And last but not least, speaking of the RPG game that I'm most, most hyped for is Dragon Quest XI S. And Game Explain, this footage is coming courtesy of Game Explain. They've had um, um, hands-on time with the game and they left very impressed with the game. They've said that this is, in fact, the definitive version of Dragon Quest. The uh, more content, more features are in the Switch version. That's not in any other version of the game. One cool aspect that has me low-key hyped is the 16-bit. You could play in the 16-bit the 16 -bit art style if you choose um, uh, for the Switch version. I think they say you go to, like, a um, sanctuary or something and it, they'll change it but that's pretty dope as well as they have old the older dragon quest games inside within this game you got to find it in different locations or whatnot but it's pretty dope pretty dope and so the switch version definitive version of the game this game day one by i think it comes out at the end of september but this is going to be the, the next huge RPG game on my radar. That and Oninaki, because I just talked about Oninaki. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? I just noticed something. This dude was pointing my whole video. What was he pointing at? Oh, <laughs> these Joy-Cons. Shame on these Joy-Cons. All right, dudes, we out. Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Somebody should tell them um, Joy-Cons can't really hear them. They're inanimate objects. They don't got ears. I'm just saying.